Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to access the current HTML element in JavaScript. We understand how to get the current HTML element in JavaScript. There are many different ways. We are going to understand them one by one. So let's get started. Here I have default.html page. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to get current HTML element in JS. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to get current HTML element in JS. I go back to the code in the body section. I am going to create a paragraph opening P closing P. Inside that I write the text paragraph text. I copy this paragraph and paste it two times. I save it, go to browser and reload. You see, we got paragraph text displayed three times. What I want, if I click on the first paragraph text, it should change to new text. If I click on the second paragraph text, it should change to new text. If I click on the third paragraph text, it should change to new text. How do we do that? We know that there are many different ways in which we can add events to HTML elements. One way is using the event as HTML attribute. Here I am adding on click event to the first paragraph. Same event I am going to add to second paragraph, third paragraph. So I am using on click event as a HTML attribute. When I click on any of these paragraphs, what should happen? Change text function should be called from JavaScript. Change text function should be called from JavaScript guys. Let me create this function. I say here opening script tag and closing script tag and then I say here type equal to text or Java script. Inside that I am going to create the function change text opening flower bracket closing flower bracket. So when I click on the paragraph change text function should be called of course change text function should change paragraph text to new text. Now we should be able to access these elements in this function. How do we access? Here we use the keyword this guys. This keyword indicates current HTML element. This keyword indicates current HTML element. This keyword in the first paragraph indicates first paragraph. This keyword in the second paragraph indicates second paragraph. This keyword in the third paragraph indicates third paragraph. So it indicates the current HTML element on which we click here. Here I want to create the variable called target. Then I say inside target dot inner HTML. Inner HTML indicates content. Content should be equal to should be equal to new text. Let's understand what happens when this code is executed. When I click on the first paragraph, change text function is called. This keyword, as I told it, indicates the first paragraph. First paragraph is stored in the target. First paragraph content changes to new text. If I click on the second paragraph, change text function is called. This keyword in the second paragraph indicates second paragraph. So second paragraph is stored in the target. Second paragraph content changes to new text. If I click on the third paragraph, change text function is called. This keyword indicates third paragraph. Third paragraph is stored in the target. Third paragraph content changes to new text guys. If I save this, go to browser and reload. I click on the first paragraph. See, it changes to new text. I click here, it changes to new text. I click here, it changes to new text guys. So this is how we can access the current HTML element in JavaScript using this keyword. We can not only change the content, we can do any modification we want guys. For example, if I say target, target means the HTML element on which we click here dot style dot B A C K G R O V N D background color should be equal to orange then semicolon. Now what happens? Text also changes, background color also changes. If I save here, go to browser and reload. If I click on the paragraph text, it changes to new text as well as background color orange. 
new text background color orange new text background color orange so like this we can send the current html element to the javascript using the this keyword guys so this is one way i hope you guys have clearly understood let's save it go to browser and reload so that is the first way guys using this keyword we are sending the current html element using this keyword second way is using the event as a property of the variable so let's see here i am going to create a paragraph opening p closing p and then i say here p a r a g r a p h paragraph text i copy this paragraph and paste two times save it go to browser and reload so paragraph text paragraph text paragraph text if i click on this i want it should change to new text if i click on the second paragraph it should change to new text if i click on the third paragraph it should change to new text okay that's what i want so what i do now here i am going to say opening script tag closing script tag and then i say type is equal to text or javascript and then i am going to create one variable called as paras and i am going to access these html elements by their tag name for that i say document dot get elements by tag name in brackets in double quotations i say p i am telling get the elements which have tag name p these three elements have tag name p so we get these three elements as an array stored inside paras we can loop through this array using the for loop right i say for were i equal to 0 i less than paras dot length i plus plus opening flower bracket closing flower bracket we know that arrays follow zero based indexing first element will be at zeroth index so i equal to 0 on every iteration i value should be incremented initially it is 0 then it should become 1 then it should become 2 when i value becomes 3 3 less than 3 becomes false guys because paras dot length returns 3 3 less than 3 becomes false the loop is terminated inside this i am going to access individual element by saying paras of i on each element i am going to add the event on click so here i am using on click event as a property of the element here okay when i click on any of the paragraph this function should be executed as it is the event handler i am going to use the variable e and then i say here opening flower bracket closing flower bracket when i click on any paragraph that paragraph is stored inside the e variable so here i can say e dot target e dot target indicates the html element on which we click on which we click guys e dot target dot inner html is equal to new text semicolon so let's save this go to browser and reload if i click on paragraph text first paragraph text it changes to new text if i click on second paragraph text it changes to new text if i click on third paragraph text it changes to new text so this is another way of accessing the html element current html element on which we click here understanding if you want of course you can change the background color or anything you if you want you can do guys e dot target dot style dot b a c k g r o e n d background color should be o r a n g e orange save here go to browser and reload change the text background color change text background color change text background color also changes guys right instead of writing like this okay let's say i am going to comment this code for a slash star and say star for a slash i am going to copy this code and paste down if you are not using the e variable here okay if you have just written the anonymous function without e variable then you can use this keyword you can use this keyword and this keyword indicates the current html element on which you click this indicates the current html element guys if i save this this code also works okay this is a comment okay if i want i can delete this anyhow let's delete this 
this code also works guys i save here go to browser and reload click on the paragraph text so you can see the text is changed to new text background color changed to orange click click so you can use this method also guys let's understand the third way okay one more way we discuss let's say refresh and the third way is using add event listener method let's go back we have the paragraphs of course and if i click on any of the paragraph you can see its text is not changing to new text and background color is not changing because we have deleted the javascript code let's write the javascript code again so i say here opening script tag closing script tag and then i say here type is equal to text or javascript here i say were paras is equal to document dot get elements by tag name in brackets in double quotations i say p get elements which have tag name p so these three elements have tag name p they are stored in the paras as an array we can loop through the array by saying for were i equal to 0 i less than paras dot length i plus plus opening flower bracket closing flower bracket here i say paras of i dot i say add event listener and first parameter will be event in double quotations we write just click we don't write on click we say click so whenever i click on any of the paragraph this function should be executed that is change text function should be executed now we are going to create that function separately here i say function change text and as it is a event handler we will be using here e variable opening flower bracket closing flower bracket e dot target dot inner html equals to new text semicolon let's save this go to browser and reload if i click on paragraph text it changes to new text changes to new text i click changes to new text so you can use this code also guys using the add event listener add the event to any paragraph and call the change text function whenever you click on any paragraph that paragraph is stored in the e dot target if you want to change the background color of course you can say e dot target dot style dot b a c k g r o and the background color which is a css property in double quotations i say orange and if you want you can change the text color do anything you want like e dot target dot style dot dot let's say font size i change font size equal to in double quotations i say 28 pixels let's say i save this go back and refresh i click on the paragraph text see font size changed text changed background color changed click click right so like this you can use add event listener method guys and access the current html element using e dot target if you are not using the e variable then definitely you can use this keyword instead of let's say if i remove this e and here i use this this dot inner html this dot style dot this dot style dot font size so this indicates the current html element on which you click here if i save this go back and refresh everything works fine guys see everything is working fine i hope you guys have clearly understood how we can access the current html element in javascript first way is using the this keyword when you are using the event as a html attribute if you are adding the event as a property of the variable then you can use either e dot target or this if you are using add event listener you can access the current element using e dot target or this guys i suggest you people to try this yourself try it yourself okay if you try you get more clear idea guys one or two times you try experiment with some other tags if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about javascript for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning 
keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial